Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I am Muhammad Ayuzuddin bin Zaid and in this video, I'm excited to share with you some fascinating information about wave. We will be covering two subtopics about wave, namely the characteristic of wave and wave graph. Can you see this clip? This is a view of sea wave from the top. As you can see, the sea wave change when reaching the beach. Do you know what the differences of wave before and after it reached the beach? Alright, here I show you a diagram to represent the situation. From here, we can see that actually when the sea wave moves to the beach, the sea wave propagates from the deeper region to shallower region. This causes changes in the properties of wave. In this situation, when water wave propagates toward a shallower region, the speed of wave decreases and the crest gets closer. As the water wave energy remains unchanged, the height of the wave increases. For better understanding, we need to know about the characteristic of wave so we can describe the changes of wave properly. To kick things off, let's dig into the characteristic of wave. Waves are fascinating phenomena that are all around us, from the ripple in a pond to the sound wave we hear and the light wave we see. In this segment, we will be exploring the fundamental properties of wave, such as amplitude, period, frequency, wavelength, and wave speed. We will learn what these terms mean. Okay, before we go further into the characteristic of wave, let us recall what is wave. Wave is a disturbance of bad and false motion that travel through something like water or air, is carrying energy without transporting the matter. To start, it is important for us to understand the basic terms related, related to wave and their definition. Okay, first, let's talk about amplitude. Amplitude, which is represented by letter capital A in wave, is maximum displacement of a particle from its equilibrium position. It refers to how far a particle moves from its resting position, showing the size of its oscillation. I, use the, I will use the example of pendulum. The initial position of the ball is the equilibrium position. Then, when it oscillates, we can see the ball swing to the right, left, right, and so on. From here, we can observe the maximum displacement of the ball from the initial position which is also known as the equilibrium position. Okay, that's an example for amplitude. Okay, next, we have period denoted by the symbol capital T. Period is simply the time it takes for a particle to complete one full oscillation or for a wave to complete one cycle, telling us about the timing of the wave. Okay, I, for this uh, example, I will also use the pendulum. Okay, from the pendulum movement, we can observe the period when the ball swings from its initial point to the right, then move oppositely to the left and swing back into its position, its initial point. That movement is considered as one complete oscillation and the time taken is counted as a period. Okay, the third important term in wave is frequency. 
frequency represented by the symbol F represent the number of complete oscillation a particle makes or the number of cycle a wave completes in one second indicating how fast the oscillation occurs. The wave frequency can be related to the period using the formula F equal to 1 over T. Moving on, let's discuss the wavelength. Wavelength denoted by the symbol lambda is the distance between two consecutive points that are in phase. Okay, from the wave diagram, the distance between two crests or two troughs of a wave is considered as two consecutive points in phase. From the wavelength, we can understand the size of the wave. Okay, lastly, we have wave speed represented by the symbol V. Wave speed is the distance traveled per second by a wave profile. It is the rate at which a wave profile travels through space, measuring how far the wave travels in a given amount of time. The SI unit for wave speed is meter per second, and the formula for wave speed is V equal to frequency multiplied with lambda. Next, we will move on to the wave graph, which are visual representation of wave that provides us with valuable insight into their properties. We will be focusing on two types of wave graph, namely the graph of displacement against time and graph displacement against distance. We will learn how to interpret this graph and extract important information about amplitude, period, frequency, and wavelength from them. Understanding how to read wave graph is an essential skill that can greatly enhance our understanding of wave and their characteristic. Let's begin by looking at the graph of displacement against time. These types of graph can help us gather crucial details about the amplitude, period, and frequency of a wave. To determine the amplitude, we can examine the distance from the x axis to the crest or trough of the wave in the graph. The period of the wave can be obtained from the time taken as represented at the x axis for one complete oscillation of the wave in the graph. Moreover, we can calculate the frequency of the wave using the formula F equal to 1 over T, where T represents the period obtained from the graph. Moving on, let's discuss the graph of displacement against distance. This type, this type of graph can provide us with information about the amplitude and wavelength of the wave. Similar to the previous graph, we can determine the amplitude by examining the distance from the x axis to the crest or trough of the wave in the graph. Additionally, the wavelength of the, the wavelength of the wave can be obtained from the distance, which is the x axis of the one, which is the x axis of one complete oscillation of the wave in the graph. Understanding how to interpret this wave graph can greatly aid us in comprehending the properties of wave and their behavior. It is a crucial skill in the study of wave and can help us to make meaningful observation and calculation to better understand the wave characteristic. For the next part of the video, I want to show you what will happen to the wave if we manipulate the amplitude and the frequency using simulation. Okay, for the first situation, we will see what happens to wave if we change the amplitude. 
I set the fixed value for the frequency which is 1.50 Hz and the initial value for amplitude I set to 0.50 cm then I change value for the amplitude to 1.0 cm let us see the result this is the result for the amplitude value is 0.50 cm as you can see it is the maximum displacement for the wave from its equilibrium points so what will happen for the amplitude value 1 1 cm so as we can see when the amplitude value increases the maximum displacement displacement of the wave increases okay next let's move on to the situation when we change the value of frequency for this situation i set the value of amplitude as 1 cm as the fixed value the initial value for frequency is 1.50 hertz and the final value of frequency is 3 hertz let's see what happened to the wave all right for the frequency value is 1.50 hertz we can see the distance between two crests or two troughs are quite far to each other from the distance of two troughs we can obtain the information of period so this indicates that the period of the wave become longer okay what if we observe the wave with frequency of 3 hertz okay so we can see that the distance between two crests or two troughs for the wave is shorter compared to before this indicates that the period of wave become shorter we could conclude that if the frequency value increase then the period will become shorter or become decreased